114.82 meters. Oh, I got a hard shot. We're back here on the Hunter Call the Wild, and today we are going to be goofing around with really crazy shots. Today we're going to be using the 300 AR, 308 AR, as well as the Sunberg Rhino. Today we're going to be trying to take different shots from different distances and see if we can make some pretty crazy shots. Then we are going to have a look at some of the craziest shots I have ever taken on diamonds and trophies in the game. I have saved some diamonds. Let's start out with these white-tailed deer. Okay, so yes, I do grind with the 300 and no, I don't get integrity. But man, look at that lack of recoil. It is delightful and you should probably leave. Good call. Now these guys have not spooked, so they are 238 meters. So we're just gonna aim a little bit high. Don't be leaving. Are you gonna turn? Probably not. Oh, make me take two shots, why don't you? Well, splat, and we did get him. Oh, no ammo left. But now we're gonna take some shots from across the water. So these deer are 316 meters. Can we take two of them? Now, when you're taking long shots, of course, zeroing is very, very important. Being correctly zeroed is definitely gonna help you take a perfect shot. And if you are unable to be perfectly zeroed, then you do want to adjust your shot so that you hit in the right place. Now, these guys are 316 meters. I'm zeroed to 300, so we are not perfect. Perfectly zeroed, but just about. So I'm not gonna worry too much. We should hit pretty close to where the crosshairs are. And splat. And double splat, beautiful. But practicing with different weapons at different distances is only gonna make you a better marksman. And it is a heck of a lot of fun. Guys, let me know in the comments what your furthest shot is in game and what weapon you used. And somewhere in the video, I am gonna share a key phrase. Drop that in the comments for your chance to be featured in a video. Now, if you are on console, it would be a voice chat also featured in a video. Now, I'm sure you saw the thumbnail. We did take down a beautiful, albino whitetail buck that was yesterday so 210 meters beautiful shot and that one is perfect as well awesome and i actually got to 15 meters before i took that shot and that was with the 4570 pistol with no scope and we were standing right here this is where it went down and this guy is 262 meters another beautiful shot and then we're gonna go across the water here now if you struggle with shot placement this video is definitely going to help you that was 331 meters and oh a little on the high side maybe i expected it to drop a little bit more but it was a good shot and this guy 333 meters and another sweet shot okay now the next thing we're gonna do is we are gonna to try and take some long shots using the pistols. Now, pistols are definitely a different ball game because usually the most they zero to is 75 meters. Not always, but the Rhino zeroes in at 25, 50, and 75 meters, whereas the one-shot pistols do zero all the way up to 200 meters. These are the ones that you can use the Hyperion and the Argus on. So, you're gonna have to definitely aim higher and figure out exactly where to aim to get longer shots. So, let's try that at the next zone. Okay, so our whitetail here are 184 meters, give or take. One buck, that's all we have. That's a little bit of a rip. Okay, we're gonna try and use the rhino. Now, usually your first shot is going to be a test shot, basically to see where your shot is going to register so that the next shot you can adjust it and maybe even make your shot. Now, if I were to aim right on the crosshairs, zero to 75 meters, my shot is going to hit underneath the whitetail. I'm not even gonna touch them. Now, I'm not sure exactly where to aim here, this is my first shot, but I'm gonna try up here. No, he's gonna bolt. Oh, got him! Beautiful! Gotta be fast. We got him. That one we're definitely gonna have to look back at on the slow motion and see where I actually aim to get that shot. How you doing, my dude? Okay. Oh, I did get a vital. That is crazy. We got a gold here. 196 meters with the rhino. We did get thoracic, spinal cord, stomach, liver, and intestines. So it was a little far back, but we got him. Just just as he was about to bolt. Okay, so now we want to try and take a shot even further than 200 meters with the rhino. That is not going to be easy. So this guy is 227 meters. Okay, let's try that again. Hmm, I'm going to aim. No. Oh, 
okay, swing and a miss, and they are gone. Okay, the chances of me hitting them on the run with the rhino from over 200 meters are slim to none, but let's give it a go. Oh, now they're just gonna run super fast. <laughs> forget it. Okay, let's move on to the next zone. Okay, once again, we are at over 200 meters, 220 meters. We have a pile of deer here, and they're pretty nice. Not bad at all. Now, I am gonna have to figure out where the heck to aim. You know what? Let's go to the Hirschfelden shooting range and actually figure this out, but I am gonna try here nonetheless. Oh, got him! <laughs> that was beautiful. I don't want to shoot a doe. This guy's a little on the small side, but I'll try it. Hold, hold on. Easy, easy, my dude. Okay. No. Oh, I hit him. I don't think I have to aim that much higher, but now he's running and he's not dropping yet. I'd really like to see where that shot hit. Is he going to die? You'd think a rhino bullet would kill him, but it's not looking like it, is it? Okay, let's go see how we did. On the shot, we did make. And here is our buddy. And there's the vital blood splatter. How you doing, my dude? A heart shot, get the heck out of here. That is a crazy shot. <laughs> 199 meters with the rhino? I can't believe I made that shot. Now, I just got lucky there. Let's be real here. So next time, I do need to aim higher because we have this big area that we need to hit. Man, I can't believe I made that shot. That is definitely a crazy shot. But I thought it was a little further than 199 meters. Let's try it again from even further away. Now, do I have deer over here? Because they are really far. My deer haven't come in. Okay, let's do the one one minute trick and see if we can get deer to show up across the street. No, it's not a street, but that's what I say. It's across the street. <laughs> Okay, we have deer coming in, and that is where they're drinking. Okay, so 314 meters. I'm gonna shoot from right here. I'm probably not gonna hit him. I'm definitely not gonna hit that one. All right, let's move a little bit to the side and see if we can get him, because I am definitely not shooting does. Shooting does in a whitetail grind and other grinds definitely can have a very negative impact on your grind. Basically, what it does is most of the time it causes another zone to spawn, and if you don't find that zone right Right away you're gonna start to get inconsistent respawns and i gotta tell you the one thing i can't stand in a grind is having nothing to shoot so i try very hard not to shoot does and i'm still not able to take that shot <laughs> now he's coming out of course okay we are zero to 75 meters 310 meters this is gonna be crazy okay i'm gonna move that waypoint it is in my way i can't even highlight them i can't even tell which ones have antlers okay these two Let's aim. Oh my gosh. I'm willy-nilly shooting now. They're gonna run. Yeah, that is almost an impossible shot. I don't want to hit a female. Okay, so I decided we should come to Hirschfelden and go to the firing range. So once you have it unlocked, you can fast travel to the firing range in Hirschfelden. It is in the bottom right-hand corner of the map right here. Okay. Now, whenever you are standing in this area of the firing range, you're going to have this little infinity symbol in the bottom right-hand corner. And what that means is you're not using your own ammo and you have unlimited ammo. So practicing will not cost you anything. Okay, we have the rhino. Let's start out with a 100 meter shot. Okay, so if I were to aim right on the bullseye at 100 meters, 0 to 75, not much of a drop, not much at all. Okay, let's move on to 150. This time I'm gonna aim a little bit higher. I mean, it is double what we are zeroed for. Let's aim right at the top of the black, see what that does. We got a bullseye. So really, the drop really isn't that bad. Okay, let's go for 200 meters now. Zero to 75. Hey dog, you might be in my way there. Go find a bone or something. <laughs> okay, now we are gonna aim. I'm gonna aim right at the top of the white. Oh, not bad. Okay. I got a bullseye at 200 meters. Okay, so if that were the top of the deer, I'm gonna aim quite a bit higher. Okay, let's try 300 meters. This is gonna be ridiculous, but let's try it. I got a five there. Okay, so I need to aim higher. Holy. Okay, so we're gonna aim way up here. Okay, what I'm gonna look at is this spot right here where the thick black line stops. I'm gonna put that on the bullseye. 
Okay, so... That's too high. You just got to get a feel for it. You just got to practice until you figure out exactly where to aim. And then once you do, you can probably hit that shot over and over and over again. We're just figuring it out. So I need a bullseye. Oh, I got a bullseye. Okay, think where I aimed. I'm not even sure. I'm going to have to look at the instant replay. Okay, I had a look at the instant replay and I think I can duplicate that. So I think what I did was I have the thick part of the black line just below the top of the white. Oh, almost. So I definitely could get a vital at 300 meters, zero to 75. Okay, we are now here in Medved. Thought we'd try practicing from 200 meters. If we can hit that, then we will try from 300 meters with the Rhino. But I think this is going to be more difficult than getting it right at the firing range. Because now we are dealing with real animals. Well, not real, but real in the game, not the firing range. If I could just figure out how much of a drop from 200 meters. The problem is when I don't get a good shot, they don't die and I don't see where the hit registered. So I'm going to aim. Hmm. I'm going to aim. I didn't even hit him. Don't spook. I definitely hit him. Did not get a vital. I'm going to try again. I hit him again. Oh, he's dropping. Yes, he is going to die. We're going to get to see where that shot registered. And look at this. Loving the new speed loader. That's one of the best things that came out of the last update. Man, it used to take forever to reload the Rhino. Literally, if you took two shots and wanted to reload, it would unload the other three bullets one by one, and then it would reload every single bullet one by one. And now literally your Rhino is reloaded in three seconds flat. It's great. Okay, here he is. Now, oh my gosh, I got a vital. What? <laughs> 195 meter vital. And you know where I aimed? I had a look at the replay and I aimed right at the top for 200 meters. So I would imagine for 300 meters, I would have to aim half again as high. We're gonna have to practice with that, but that is a pretty amazing shot. I can't believe I got a vital. And he's a pretty nice moose, 241.97. Not bad at all. Pretty happy about that. I hope I can duplicate it. Okay, let's try a shot from 300 meters now. Okay, you know what I'm gonna do before we go for 300 meters? I'm going to see if I can duplicate and get another vital from 200 meters because we could definitely call that a fluke. So I'm pretty sure where I ended up aiming was there. Let's try it again. I hit him. Oh my gosh, I think I got a hard shot. That has got to be one of the craziest shots I've ever taken. Let's go have a look and let's speed load that rhino. Okay. Oh, there's the vital. That had to be a hard shot. It was a double long hard shot. That is completely nuts. 197.83 meters, pretty close to 200 meters. And I aimed right there. So maybe next time when I'm trying to get a shot right dead in the middle of the lung, I am going to aim above the spine and I'm talking the highest part of the spine. So next time I'm going to aim up here for a 200 meter shot, but I feel like we do have the 200 meters figured out. It's time to try 300 meters. Okay, this is insane. For me to be 300 meters away from this moose, <laughs> that is 300 meters. I can barely see him. Now the chance of me getting a good shot with the rhino on the first go is pretty slim, but we're gonna try. Okay, now, hmm, I'm gonna aim up here. Let's see how we do. Let's try that. I hit him. Drop, baby. Can't tell if he's dropping. That's not the same moose. That's him. He's not dropping. Man. Did I hit him again? I tried. Well, at least I hit him. Okay, I'm going to try and take this shot from less than 300. We're at about 267 meters. If I go any further back, this rock is going to be blocking this moose. So we're going to try from here. And if I don't make it, we are going to move on and try and take some 400 meter shots. Plus with the 300 AR and the 308. Okay, now at 200 meters and he's going to move. Dude, you're killing me. You are killing me. The chances of getting a good shot here are slim to none. You know what? I'm going to use the black part to aim. I hit him, but he's not dropping. Is that him? Is that the one I hit? I don't know.
This is what you call willy-nilly shots. <laughs> he went out of render. He is pretty darn far and hitting him from this distance is almost impossible. But I'm pretty happy to be able to get a vital shot with the Rhino from 200 meters. Anything beyond that is a little bit crazy, but I'm sure if I practice long enough, I could figure it out. But we are gonna move on. Let's do that. Okay, so now we are going to try and take some crazy long shots. Now, the furthest we can possibly shoot is around 420, 430 meters because that is the extent of render in the Hunter Call of the Wild. See, he just vanished at 413 meters. Pretty tough to shoot when you can't see him. Jeez, now I go back and I can't see him still. All right, I think I'm gonna stop at 410 meters. There he is, and back up again. I just don't wanna lose him again. Still see him, we're on a bit of, okay, we'll try. 410. Okay, we're gonna use the 308. We're zeroed to 300 meters. He's so far, you can't even see the antlers. They don't render in. Okay, I'm going to aim for the top of his spine. 100 meter difference. Hmm, let's try right here. Get him! Beautiful! Let's go see where we hit that shot. Okay, here he is. And we got a vital. 414.82 meters. Oh, I got a hard shot. Oh my gosh. What? Okay, well, next time we will aim higher, but we got a perfect hard shot. That is insane. I can't believe that. Holy. I'm doing all right with the hard shots today. I don't even know if I can get a further shot than that because of render, but let's try. See if we can duplicate that. Okay, so we are gonna try that shot one more time. Problem is that every time I get to about 405 meters, my deer disappears and goes out of render. And then I have to run forward about 70 meters and there it goes, and it is gone. So now I gotta run up here to get it back and then run back. How far is this guy? Okay, don't disappear, don't disappear. Ah, it disappeared. <laughs> No! I think once I hit 405, I need to stop moving. Dude, come back for me, please. Okay, there he is. This is it. I'm taking it from 405 because that is the most I can get without him vanishing. We're gonna try 308, 404 meters. I am going to aim above the spine. How about that? Got him. Drop, baby. Got him! I got a vital. Beautiful. You know, trying to make these crazy far shots has been super fun. I do highly recommend you guys try it. It will make you a better marksman in the game and you'll have a blast doing it. How you doing, my dude? 413.64 meters. Not bad. And we got, oh geez, a little far forward. But other than that, where we aimed up here was absolutely perfect. I guess that's just the angle. We broke through the scapula. We weren't really too far forward. Jeez, I felt like the animal was broadside, but I guess it wasn't, and that wasn't a bad one. 239 is a pretty nice buck. You know what? The next time we spawn a diamond, I'm gonna try and take it from over 400 meters because now I feel confident that I can make the shot. But let's have a look at those crazy shots that I made to save different diamonds during live streams. Let's have a look at that. He's still calm. Look at that. Holy. He still does. Okay. Oh, he's attentive now. That's bad. He is calm. Holy. 50 meters? I don't- the lowest I can zero is 50 meters? It's gonna shoot high. I don't know if I want to do this. If I did it like that, that should be good, right? What if it shoots high? One would think if I aimed right here, we should end up like up here. I would think. Right there, right? What do you think, guys? See, this- I don't like doing things that don't have a lot of practice and I don't- generally get to 20 meters from something and then no scope it. Not very often. I'm thinking like if I aim low, that should be good. It's sh I'm zero to 50 and he's like really, really close to me. Okay, I'm gonna do it. Okay, here we go. He dead. <laughs> I got a final! Let's freaking go! Yes! <clears throat> Ow! Who did that? Get back! Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, you better run. You better run. How you doing, my dude? You scared me. <laughs> okay, here is our buddy. And, oh, it was beautiful. Look at that shot. 15.02 meters. Beautiful. 211. Not as big as we were hoping, but I will absolutely take that. Beauty. Oh, we have even more bears. Five, six, seven, nine. There's my buddy! He's alert. I- I muffed it. I didn't- I messed it up. Darn it. Well, hopefully 
he's not wearing three bullets. If he's not, that's gonna be world's greatest save. Is this the nine? Splat that like button. That's right. <laughs> oh my gosh, I saved a diamond. That That's crazy. Okay, so that was my shot, the first shot. Unfortunately, I mean, I was shooting from 274 meters with the night vision scope, and somehow I thought I was aimed in the middle, but I was not. But the second shot on the trot, that is what I got. Holy! <laughs> That's crazy. Got him there. Oh, what the heck did I get there? Neck or heart? That was a good shot. That was pretty sweet. <laughs> There he is, there he is, there he is! There he is! No! Oh my gosh, he just vanished. It's too thick. Hold on. There he is, there he is. I don't know, I tried. I might mess him up doing that, but no hunting pressure. I don't think I hit him. I got him! Did I get a final? I got him! I have hunting pressure! Oh, look at that! I got him! There he is! <laughs> Can you believe I got that shot? Okay, here's our creepy wolf. Will he make diamond after all that? Actually, we got him a lot faster than I thought we were going to. Here we go! Mmm! Yes! Well, that is pretty crazy. Look at that shot! That's pretty great. And we have another five medium. I don't think he's going to troll. He's very pretty, but he does have a bodyguard. Okay. Oh, went too fast there. And I muffed it. Did I muff it? Oh, I wasn't even thinking. I'm going to leave it. Oh, that is so sad. Maybe I can get him out here. I, th I wasn't even thinking that I had a five and I was just thinking about heart shots and I didn't concentrate. I am sad. Is he gonna die? If the other one didn't die, maybe he won't die. There he is, there he is! Oh, 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 there he is. He's down to 50. Okay, I have a shot here. I gotta stand up. Stinking trees? No! Oh, he's gonna die. I tried. Oh, well. Well, I got a vinyl! Get out of here! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! That's insane! Oh. Well, I hope he's not wearing three bullets. I can't believe it! What? Oh, how you doing, my buddy? <laughs> we saved a diamond! That's insane! Look at this shot! Look at that shot, 201 meters on a full-blown tear. I can't believe I got that shot. If you enjoyed today's video and would like to watch more, click right here for the Diamonds and Rares playlist.